is the breath. It's that kind of singing uh, journey. Especially in the environment of the church and this kind of acoustic and the sounds keep keep moving around and, and after you release the sound with your breath it keeps swirling around and continues to have a, an effect and a, and a kind of, of impact is quite satisfying and also um, a kinship with a great mind, great musical mind like Bach. one of the things that Bach understood, the danceability of music. I'm surprised when you hear this music that you just don't really let yourself go because, you know, I mean, how can you not dance to that. It's so uplifting. I mean, it, it is a dance. When I, when I fell in love with, with Bach and heard this Gould recording, music that just that fires on all cylinders, that, that has the immediacy and um, emotional uh, uh, intensity, um, that clarity of intent. I mean, he was, it was like, oh, he's, he's a new one of my hero buddies. With Bach, every single thing I listened to and was attracted to, that just fit the banjo. So I had a sense of this inevitability to the whole thing that the music was going to work on the banjo and it would sound right. There's a place for the banjo in this kind of music and it's just amazing stuff. It wasn't until I actually started trying to learn a Bach piece that um, I started to realize how awesome this stuff was. A little bit more. Two, you want two, three. Bum 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 Fine, that's good, except that you're not doing the same I in the gin. I think this music is expressing something that we all feel, that we all have inside. So uh, let's start with this first movement here. And P.D.Q. Bach, according to my research, uh, was a child of Johann Sebastian Bach, given birth to by Anna Magdalena Bach, and that there's no way the Bach family can get out of that. I mean, they've been burning P.D.Q. manuscripts for years. They've been doing everything they could to make it seem as if he didn't exist, or if so, he had nothing to do with the Bach family. Well, bullpucky, I say. We first uh, learned the art of the fugue seven or eight years ago 
And as we got more and more deeply involved in the music, there are all sorts of nuances and shadings 